Alright, so in this video we're going to look at entering data, but this time when you have a between subjects design, so you have different groups of participants. So we're going to use a slightly different set of data. So if we come to this Excel spreadsheet, the SPSS data sheet, and we go to age and repetition, you'll see in here I've collected data from two different groups of participants. I've got adults, so here, under the column group, and I've got older adults. All right. So what I've collected from them is their repetition score, so their accuracy in repeating words and their accuracy in repeating non-words. Now I've already arranged this data um, in the way that SPSS likes it to be arranged. So I've got one row as one person, so this is an adult, participant number one, and these are their scores. So that's the group of adults. And then further down you've got older adults. So here's my first older adult, number 21, and there's their repetition scores. So when you have groups, you have to have a column which defines who belongs in which group. In other words, which row belongs in which group. And then you have data for each participant in the cells adjacent along the same row. So I've got my S SPSS my uh, spreadsheet opened up, I've chosen to type in data after I opened it up. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste. So if we come to our data view there. So first of all, what I want to do is define my uh, groups, basically. So I go to variable, and I'm going to call my first one group. So I could call it, you know, age or adult underscore older adult or whatever. But I'll just call it group for the moment. And I'm going to give my groups different names, so it's going to be nominal data. And I'm going to have one is adults, two is older adults. So I'll add that in. Okay, so now if I go back to data view, I can see that this is group. So going back to my SPSS spreadsheet, the easiest thing to do is actually just to create the numbers in Excel. So I'll create a separate column here called group number. So I'll just hide these for the moment. Okay, so group age, group number. So one is adult, so I'm just going to type in a whole bunch of ones. And then older adults, a whole bunch of twos. There we go. So then I can just copy, so control C and then group control V. And as it did before, SPSS gets kind of stroppy with me for doing that, doesn't like it. So I'm going to clear and I'm just going to try again. Control C and paste. There we go. So this time I've got my ones and my twos. And I've got 41 in total. So we can just go back and check that that's actually correct. And if you look here, I've got that column highlighted and down the bottom here, if we look just here, down the bottom numerical count is 41. So yes, I've got how many twos? I've got 21 older adults. And 20 adults. So let's go back into SPSS and do this again. So group values 1, adult 2, older adult. Okay. And again, it's nominal. So just what I did before. Oops. Don't need to do that. I'll just clear that. There we go. So back to data. So now you can see I've got group, and then this tells me that whoever's on this row is an adult, and then coming down, older adults. So then I want to get those columns back. So I've got their word and their non word repetition scores. So I can just copy those. paste and there they are. 
so I know that this column is word and this column is non-word so I go back into my variable view and I call that word score I could be even more specific and call it word rep score and this is non-word rep score and in both cases that's a percentage correct so that counts as a scale measure so I make sure that it says that they're scale measures none of them have decimal places that are meaningful so I can get rid of my decimal places so I've simply got the percentage I haven't got 99.9 .9 or anything so I go back to data view and let's just expand these so that we can read them properly there we go so now you've got your data arranged as SPSS likes you to have between subjects so again each row is one person and your groups are defined by a particular column which you can call group for ease or anything else that helps you to remember what it means. And then again, you should save it. So this is age and word rep. So I'm just going to save that. And then there's my output file. So save. age word rep and save and that's it that's the basics of entering entering data that is between subjects <laughs>